readers. Welcome to the Breast Cancer Clinic at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. Last year, 232,340 women were diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States. Each year, here at the clinic, we see about 1,500 breast cancer patients. A quarter, 20 to 25% or so, of those individuals have disease that is driven by the amplification of human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, or HER2. I'm a senior oncology fellow, and it wasn't long after caring for these individual patients that I realized how exciting the new and innovative therapies were that targeted this type of breast cancer. I worked closely with Sashmi, Drs. Bardia, and Dazan in order to review the mechanism of action, the pharmacokinetics, clinical efficacy, and overall use for pertuzumab, a novel humanized monoclonal antibody. Hi, I'm Sasmit Sarangi. I have been working here at Massachusetts General Hospital with Dr. Bardia since the last few months. Pertuzumab is a monoclonal antibody which binds to the HER2 receptor at uh, the dimerization domain and prevents HER2 and HER3 dimerization and downstream uh, signaling which results from it. The approval of pertuzumab in the clinical setting is based on the Cleopatra trial. Uh, this trial uh, looked at the combination of pertuzumab, trastuzumab and docetaxel and it showed a clear survival benefit in terms of overall survival and progression free survival in this clinical setting. Now we will move to the uses of pertuzumab in the new adjuvant setting. Greetings, I am Aditya Bardia. I am a breast oncologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. I would like to talk about neoadjuvant pertuzumab. Neoadjuvant therapy or preoperative therapy refers to the administration of therapy before surgery. From a patient perspective, this is exciting because it could lead to downsizing of the tumor and better surgical outcomes. From a research perspective, neoadjuvant therapies are exciting because presence of complete pathological response or no evidence of disease is associated with better outcomes and can serve as a surrogate marker for survival. Indeed, in 2013, the FDA approved neoadjuvant pertuzumab based on PCR as the primary endpoint. This is the first therapy that was FDA approved just based on PCR as the primary endpoint. In the manuscript, we talk about neoadjuvant pertuzumab and the various trials that led to its FDA approval. In the next section, Dr. Dizon will talk about future directions. Hi, I'm Don Dizon, and I see patients here at the MGH Cancer Center with Dr. Bardia. The review we wrote about pertuzumab is particularly relevant as we talk about precision therapies in oncology. And what we've discussed in the paper is how we can use this new combination of trastuzumab with pertuzumab and further refine our care for women with HER2 positive breast cancers by delving into their genomic profiles and hopefully find other inhibitors that will further enhance both therapy without sacrificing toxicity. This is one of the future areas of breast cancer research as well as in oncology in general.